up. Just trying something different. Been bad internet for the longest time. Just seeing if it'll still do the same thing. Go down to the shop. Or to the, where the big airbrushing is. connect with us. set this up properly. Boom, right. flying. Sorry, everybody, if you're watching the beginning of this, it's pretty shaky. Just trying to get things organized. We'll just let it run and see if anybody catches with us, gets on. Uh, Not sure.
Just trying to get things organized here. Ah, Lauren, hi, how are you? <clears throat> Just trying to get things organized, start it up. there just say hi to me because I don't know how long this is gonna take just trying to get everything on here so we can see Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, you're my first guess. <laughs> I'm just trying to hook up. Um, oh, I gotta get a password. Give me one second here. Just trying to. Just trying to figure out my settings here, guys, or if you're with me. Because I was having issues with my camera, with the internet down here. We got a lot of snow here. And uh, it was ugly. Yeah, oh, we have to, sorry, we have a ton of snow, ton, 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 ton. It just snowed, like, massive here. Um, more than we need, but it, we're used to it. It's always, it's always a, it's always a shit show out here. second uh, all right okay, all this stuff here I think we're good. We're trying the two system set up here. Yeah, we always get 
it's always full of snow. Like we Canada here is like not all every every province, but we get tons of snow every year. We get tons and tons and tons of snow. It's uh, it's a snowy kind of a place. That's all it is. I'm just trying to hook up another kind of a camera here. This will allow um, Facebook to uh, join us also. This one won't get very many. I won't be able to see this one. There's Facebook, so um, I can see what's going on on um, YouTube here, but I can't see who's here with me on Facebook. I'd have to always turn my head, so um, if you're watching here, hello, if you're watching there, thank you. So, yay, what are you doing? All right, so I'm just going to turn, show the first, I just did this one a couple days ago with like as in today it's not it's not nothing great um it's just part of the logo that i have with the trees and the reaper and the paths are in the back kind of thing i just wanted to try um some painting so i did that i'll hang that up on my own wall whatever but today i wanted to what i did was <clears throat> i went to our dollar store and this is a wooden canvas, a wooden frame. So I wanted to try something, something, something. So I figured I'd try that. Oops, I don't want to see that. Uh, right. So I think what I'm going to do is I wanted to paint a skull. Um, not sure. Hello? Not sure what or what kind of skull I want to paint. Um, I got these guys. These guys are from uh, a guy that I bought them from. They're from the States. So, I mean, it could be a bunch of skulls anywhere, whatever. My only problem with doing skulls is I can't get the teeth right. I don't know what's going on with that, but um, we're going to try. We're going to try it again, just for the fun of it. Put a little bit of a light source here. Nothing crazy. Um... Crazy. So, what I was thinking is maybe I like this skull, and then I was thinking of putting maybe like like a moon or something behind it or something. I'm not sure. But if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can go ahead and ask. I don't know if I'll like. I'll have to turn around and look. This is. Uh, Facebook and I have YouTube there. I've done this before where I double double dipped <laughs> um, If you can get on YouTube and you're a subscriber that'd be better because it gives me an opportunity to get more subscribers meaning Maybe one day they'll even pay me for doing this stuff just to keep everybody entertained and myself so What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with uh, Some black and what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to coat this with black. Just a light mist, all right? And then we will get our skull put on there. So, um, this is a cheap airbrush system, all right? So, uh, I think it's called a Best or something that I bought it off of some guy out here. It fell and it nicked my damn um, needle. So even just a little touch of the needle um, being bent, 
becomes an issue, all right? So it won't perform um, the way it's supposed to, believe it or not. It's just the way it is. Oh, darn it. I'm just trying to get... Blocks for power carving only have hickory. Uh, is there a good online site to buy wooden blocks for carving, power carving? I only have hickory trees around me, so I use that, but yeah, I'm still just beginning. Oh, okay. Um, good question. I, I'm in Canada, so online I don't do. Um, we have a home hardware, which I think is American, all right? So, um, that is... I buy my basswood off of when I go there. Um, if you have something like that, you'd probably be in better better shape to go get. Online, see, I go, if I was to buy, like, anything, a box worth of stuff, um, or a size one, I there's a bunch of Canadian sites, but I don't know if that's something you can do. Or if it's something you want to do. Um, I'm not really sure. If there's anybody here that knows... Um, she, she, Laura, Lauren's in Georgia. So she's in the States. Now if anybody knows anything about online wood to buy. Like she said, she just asked a question. Maybe you guys can help her out. Because I don't buy from American. Like, you know, honestly, like, you're buying my tree. And I'm, I'm sending it to you and then I have to buy back. <laughs> That's how it works. Okay. So I can't really help you on that one, Laura. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, what I do know is if you can get some free wood, it's even better. Um, I do have a handle on cottonwood. And cottonwood is uh, it's very accessible out here in Canada. So I do sell that. Uh, problem with it right now is... Um, it's buried in snow. So we ain't gonna find it. I mean, I do have some, but not enough. All right, if you're on Facebook and you're here, say hello, because I want to know if you're there. All right? Just help me out. Okay. Yeah, sorry, Laura. I wish I would have known, because I don't really... I, like I said, I do go to a home hardware, which I do get um, some of my basswood from when I need it, but I carve a lot out of cottonwood. I like cottonwood better. Dollar store, if you're an airbrush lover, cheapest thing you get for canvas to practice on if you want it. I'm practicing this my first real year of using this. Um, don't know if I'm any good at it, but I'm trying. So... We're going to start off by adding some black to this guy. And all I want to do is turn on my air. Sometimes you'll get spitting. I don't really get any air here. How come? All right. Hello, my sister. So all I'm going to do is just add a little bit of black. Maybe water it down a bit. Get it a little bit of backflow. And I schmock out. So I always seem to drip, drip paint everywhere. Just, just touching the can, like the, the brown up with some black. That's all I'm doing.
and again there's a reason for for this uh, being a cheap machine it doesn't it doesn't spray out as good like I'm not getting any paint out here for some reason don't know why I got air And usually if, uh, yeah, hey Philly, um, my needle is tight. It, it's bent, though. I've noticed that. It sucks. So, we'll try that. Just take it out here, put it back in. I'm getting some hope. We'll switch to uh, the other airbrush right away. Yeah, the needle, the, definitely the needle tip is shit. It's, it's not, this is the cheap airbrush that I bought. Uh, I'm actually gonna purchase. Uh, there's a there's a kit that you could buy, and you and you could straighten out your tips. So um, I was very fortunate. A buddy of mine, his name is Brad. Brad Pullman. He's on. He's a friend of mine. Actually went um, to the states for me. And uh, he picked up a, um, oh, a manifold with the shutoff valves. Really awesome that he did that. I'm very, that's what, that's what it is. Very good man. Very helpful. And uh, I was really happy. Now I can hook up three brushes, but I'm missing a special cap for one of the hoses uh, to make it work. Now this just isn't it making me happy. Why not? I got a lot of air. Could be dirty. You know what, guys? We're not even going to bother with this airbrush until I fix it. We'll go back into this one. I know my badger will work way better. I have a Pashi one, and it works great. The problem with it is I don't have the hookup for it. It's not, yeah, see that's, something's blocked in there. Cause it's not even backflowing. Could be a blockage inside here that's stopping it. Could be the needle is really bent. That has issues. That will cause an issue. Your cone is probably. Uh, oh, see that. Uh, uh, spray. It could be a needle tip. I used to stock up. Your cone is probably clogged. Very well. I'm getting air. You can see I'm getting air out of here. I oh, you can't see, but I can feel I'm getting air. You can hear it. Um, just. Nothing coming out of the cup, and it's not a dispo It's not a cup that you could just take apart. So we are just going to put this aside. Turn down the air on that one.
This one I know will work. Yeah, it does. It unscrews on it. But you know what? I'm not going to... I'm not going to waste my time with it right now. See, and this is what happens when you don't pay attention. I just got paint all over me. Lucky it didn't go on the floor. That's all I care. My pants are washable. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Pain in the ass. This is a Badger, or... Well, it's called a, a Vega, right? And... Um, the only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have a cap. I don't care about the side filter or siphon. That don't bother me. Boy, I wish we had a cap on it, because you got to be very careful. But this thing sprays really good. I like this. You can tell it sprays really well. Come up. Yeah. It's a. It's a that. That other one's a really cheap airbrush system. And uh, like I said, I got it almost for nothing. Well, I paid almost nothing for it. It was a good deal, let's just say that. You know what, I'm gonna turn on my fan. The suction. Hello, Facebook. If you're there, say hello. Don't be shy. We're just laying a little bit of paint on here. A little bit of black. Okay. So then, I mean that's that won't take long to dry. We're gonna finish. We're gonna figure out which one. Yeah, that's a boy. Hi, Susan. What I want to do is I just want to put a skull somewhere like that. Okay. You can sort of see the small outline of it. Would have been more, but guess what? I didn't put enough black paint in here. I have French crews. I have one hiding here from me somewhere. Uh, there it is. It was one that was, um, I did buy a stencil pack just to support uh, one of the guys. So I do have a sort of a French curve, I guess you could say. I call it, I call it a French curve because it's curved and I'm French. <laughs> Dumbass, eh? That's what they always say. But uh, yeah, and uh, the thing is, again, you know, like Postal, this is, I'm a first time, I'm trying this, uh, not first time, I should say first time. This is uh, one of the first times that I'm airbrushing more, you know, so I'm trying to do as much as I can learning. I'm not 100% sure if I'm doing anything right. You know, stuff like this where the, the the actual template doesn't have the roundness of it all. Then I come in with my French curve. And I sort of line it up and just finish it off itself a bit. Sort of like that. 
that, right? So, sounds good, man. Sounds good. I'll, yeah, any help was better than none. So, yeah, now this is the fun part is because I am not a tooth person. So, I did make a template of, like this of a mouse. All right. Now, it doesn't exactly fit um, every template I have, but I sort of just, I'll go on top of it, I'll give it a light spray, so this way I can see the black in the teeth, right? And then this way I'll make his teeth come up this way, like so, so now I can kind of see. I don't know. We're just we're just farting around here, guys. Nothing special. Nothing big. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll just throw in some sort of dark. Give it a look of something. I don't know. And even with our guy here, we'll crack his skull a bit. Like that. Hey, Tommy. on something I don't know no idea what I'm doing just doing what I want to do Tommy, I actually this is what I did. I don't know if you can see that, but that's where I'm at with that. Anyway, that's all I can do. Mad from what? Mad what? bunch of thin plastic paper, uh, kind of a, what do you call that, I don't know, whatever, it's like photocopy paper, I guess, not, but it's for the uh, printer or uh, projector, and I make them out of these, uh, just trace and stencil and whatever, I don't know, I don't know if that, that does anything different. So 
so yeah. Well, that's, I mean, you do what you, what you gotta do with. Like, I mean, there's some guys out there that, you know, they make them, they sell them. That's great. Like, I bought, I bought that, that big stencil from, it's called Mike's Brush. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm. I agree. I'm reading off of this here. I have a I have a thing that's hooked up to um, YouTube, so I can read off of here when I see it pop up. So I don't have to always turn my head. Uh, but I, I like that. Too. I, I think it works. Thanks, man. Uh, we're actually going to be, next video we're going to be doing, uh, which will be a video, is my second oldest son wants to make a coin ring. So, I'm hoping that he'd, he'd like to record the, uh, the process of it. It's been a while since I made a coin ring. Now, the difference, too, is... He wants to make it out of a dime. Very small. Very small, so it's going to be tiny. It's going to be a pinky ring. That's what he wants to do. Kind of practice on... We always practice on a shit ring. A uh, coin if we need one. Not hard to get. So we did that. And... Uh, it didn't turn out the best because it wasn't silver and you got to kneel it more and more, right? So, that's it. Oh, hell, did I get a lot of snow? Yeah. I ain't wasting two bucks on him, Tooney. What the hell was that? I am. Jordy Johnson here? No, he can't do that. <laughs> Actually, Jordy wanted me to make a video so he can see the process. I mean, you, can, other, you watch better people than me, I'll tell you that. Um, to make uh, coin rings, but I mean, you know what? It's uh, we're here for fun, right? We're here to do this for fun. Even this, this, this ain't gonna look the best, and uh, it's not made to uh, to uh, to be, you know, anything professional. Though I do like this new air airbrush. I got this for a song. The guy never, he used it once, he put it away, and he goes, it's an older one. And I went, older? Okay, it's brand new. Like I said, it's a big, I'll show you that. Look. Okay, so this is what, this is what it came, like, that's an old box, man. I bet you this is from the 70s or 80s. And it's called it's VEGA, it's Vega, and uh, I think when I read it, it was, it was a Pache, Pache, Pache uh, kit. So, yeah, I've been, I've been doing, I've been doing coin rings, like, I mean, I started like five, six, eight years ago, whatever it was. Um, you know what, out in Canada, it's not as, um, how do you say, it's not as popular because, like, I know a lot of the guys in the States, they're making them and they sell them and blah, 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 whatever. Hello, everyone on there. Sweet box is still mint. Yeah, it's mint, mint box. Yeah, you're right. It's, uh, like I said, the guy just, the guy just put it away and he said he never used it, so... So what I want to do here is I'm just using some white. And I just wanna I wanna get that that sort of foggy look. Not to cover the black. to cover the black but just to to get into it
mean again, this is my way of doing airbrushing. Everybody does it differently. I mean, that's, you know, kind of has a little bit of a teenage to it. It's pretty cool. Um, all right, thanks, Postal. We'll see you in a bit if I'm still here. So guys, this is the first time uh, I'm actually airbrushing on wood. I've never done this before. So I just wanted to give it a try. You know, it's the first time I give it a go. some kind of blue. Now this is an ink. And it's a very light ink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just I'm not even gonna clean out the brush. I'm just gonna go shoot it straight in there with, with the white. Adding some blue in there. All right, that's great, Tommy. That's yeah, give it a go, man.
So next, we're just going to clean this out a bit. What do you think you're going to carve there, Tommy? Try something different. Try something, I mean, for the first time, I guess. I always keep a toothpick so I can just kind of get to those sides. This one seems to clog up a little easier for some reason when it dries. You know, I don't know what, what that's all about, but whatever. a picture of what on Instagram People, like I, I don't always I don't always go to Instagram I, I do I mean I do use it but I'm not on it very much because it's, I don't, it's just it's not my favorite platform to use social media platform okay so now this is just blowing out air If you're on Facebook and you're watching me, give me a hello. I want to know if you're there. Don't be shy. If you want, you can join us on YouTube. And that helps me out as subscribers. I've told you guys that before. It's, it just makes it a little easier. I will give it a look, to Tommy. Definitely get you a look at that. I mean, I'm no, I'm no expert at anything. Don't, don't even look at me for that. If you want wood spirit? Ask Jordy. He's the guy who does all the wood spirit stuff. I just, I just putz around, guys. You know that. This is just me, me being me. Yeah, this is my basement, my full basement here. I love it too, there's a lot more room. Um, I, can, I can focus on doing other things here.
guys from uh, Facebook, welcome. If you want to comment or say hi, go ahead. Nobody's, we're just doing some, some airbrushing. Nothing special, nothing crazy. Doing our best to make something. I guess what I'm doing here is some sort of tree. Oh, thanks, Don. Yeah. Yeah, it happened. But they asked me, the family, well, my brother asked me to, he actually asked me to make an urn. Um, and uh, just the time wasn't wasn't the greatest. Hello, Traveler Richardson. How you doing, brother? Haven't talked to you in a long time. Um, so yeah, I couldn't do it. So we just purchased one, and you saw what I did um, in that in that sense. So that's the way it is. We got some brown in there. Now we're gonna go with washing it out. Wash, wash, wash. I do use my canister that I have here. I mean, <clears throat> with this brush, it's a pain in the ass. So <clears throat> having an old rag or whatever I use here, the schmuck. helps a lot. Uh, another good thing is when airbrushing using um, using a sponge to get the tip. In case you have tip dry. I usually keep it here. Got some weight on this foot. Sorry, Mr. Just Curb Rub. Such a great job on that. I just love it. Rob is a Just Curb Rob is a really good, a good, you know, schmo. We talk quite a bit. We, we joke around a lot. Uh, he's doing really well on his YouTube. You know, we like everybody to give it a look. Get you bored. Rob is funny. He's informative. He's a damn good carver. Different things I could carve. Well, I could. I could give you ideas. But, just like anything else, um, I do a lot of searching on, on social network. And a lot of it comes out of here, and you got lots of that there, buddy. Because I know, with you know, if you're doing if you're doing some uh, uh, you know tattooing and shit like that, that's that, that's where it all comes from, man. You got to know. It's not that hard to, to. The hardest part is getting something 3D out. It, it doesn't matter. It's it's just trying to get something 3D out. Um, 2D being in front of you. 1D being just like a one, like I got nothing that's 3D here. This is like more like a 1 or 2D, whatever they want to call it. Uh, we're just going to throw all a bunch of colors in here, guys. That's all we're going to do. We're just farting around today. We don't care. So, uh, we're going to go with some, some sort of green. See if you had, if you had Messenger from Facebook, Tommy, uh, that would make a big difference. That would make a huge difference. You could chat with so many people on that.
Robert. How are you, my friend, Robert? Sunny kind of thing, where you'll go back all in white with that after. Yeah, that's a good idea. Robert, are you there? Mr. Jensen, tell me if you're there. Yeah, you were telling me that you were saying that. You messaged me that. Uh, postal. Just 
draw it and then glue it to it or whatever you have to do and then crap the shit out of it around it. Not much, how you doing, buddy? I guess you heard my mom passed away, Robert. I don't know if you heard that or you saw it in the in the free press. Hey, 
here. That's all you need. Just that's all you need is a small burner. Thanks. I didn't know if you heard that. No, I don't use a Fordham. Uh, I have a Fordham, but I don't use it. I use uh, uh, <clears throat> I have a Fordham. No, you just asked me that. Yes, I do use a Fordham. Thanks, Robert. I just didn't know if you heard about it. Just, as far as I know, it's just ink. I don't know if it's rated for calligraphy. It's pretty watery. It is very watery. I wouldn't know the difference myself. I guess it could be used for calligraphy. stuff like that. It's a Bombay, Bombay product. Um, it's cheap, it's at Michael's, so. Somebody told me, you can paint with that stuff, and I'm like, okay. So I gave it a go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could use it for that. Guys, how's how's your uh, how is your subscriber list coming, guys? Is any are we getting some some new subs? I think I'm at a 407. I mean nothing. Whoop! There goes Facebook. Yeah. Nothing to write home about. But they're gonna kick your pants. Facebook went flying. I only have shitty freaking holders. These things aren't the best. Don't work, but. thing isn't
Okay, I'm getting tired of this shit. This is not working. Now it's working sideways where I want it to be like this and it's gotta go sideways. It's going fucking straight. Okay, guys, I don't know what's going on with Facebook here, but this is pissing me off. So, uh, if you want to see more of what I'm doing, best thing to do is uh, find me on um, YouTube, okay? I gotta shut this one off. Sorry, guys. No, what the hell's wrong with that piece of shit? Phone. It's upside down. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. I should. I gotta get myself a better camera setup. That's that's the only problem. Is the damn camera setup. Just farting around, I guess. 